represented a Native American legend of the Piasaw, a tremendous a bird that developed a taste for human flesh. If you haven't watched that video, you might want to watch that one first, and I will put a link to it in the description below. I want to uh, also point out that the images used in this video are not images of the actual caves being spoken of. Well, a few are. They're very difficult to find. So, John Russell, who had uh, obtained the story of the Piasaw bird from the Native American Indians of Southern Illinois, had more to say after relating how the great chief Watogo killed that beast. His account continued. Near the close of March, 1836, I was induced to visit the bluffs below the mouth of the Illinois River, just above that of the Piasaw. Now, my curiosity was principally directed to the examination of a cave to which the Piasaw took his human victims for processing, so to speak. That was my addition, I'm sorry. Russell continued, preceded by an intelligent guide who carried a, a spade, I set out on my excursion. The cave was extremely difficult to access, and at one point in our progress, I stood um, at an elevation of about 100 feet on the perpendicular face of that bluff. With barely room to sustain one, <clears throat> one foot, and the unbroken wall towered above me while the river lay below. <laughs> After a long and perilous climb, we reached the cave, which was about 50 feet above the surface <clears throat> of the river by the, uh, by the on a projecting rock, and the upper end touching the mouth of the cave. We succeeded in entering it. Nothing could, have been, could be more impressive than the view from the, from the entrance of the cavern. The Mississippi was rolling in silent grandeur beneath us. High over our heads, a single cedar tree hung its, its branches over the cliff, and on one of the dead dry limbs was seated a bald eagle." End quote. Now, here is where Mr. Russell discusses the morbid content of the cave. His story continues, the roof of the cavern was vaulted and the top was hardly less than 20 uh, feet high. The shape of the cavern was irregular, but, but so far as I could judge, the bottom would average about 20 to 30 feet. Now the floor of the cavern <laughs> throughout, it, uh, throughout its whole extent was one mass of human remains, human bones. Skulls and other bones were, were mingled in the, uh, in the utmost confusion. To what depth they extended, I was able to decide. But we dug to a depth of about three to four feet and in every part of the cavern, and then and still we found only bones. The remains of thousands must have been deposited by, by who? By the PSR, by it just a mass grave. The mass grave doesn't sound uh, reasonable to me. Neither does the Piasaw, but anyways. Did the Piasaw actually exist? Is it just a legend? Let's not forget that many legends have a little kernel of truth in them, and that could be true here. So you might ask, <clears throat> were other collections of bones found in the area? And, well, indeed, there were. But I would distinguish between them and the Piasaw, though the supporters of the Piasaw relate them. But there were other caves or caverns found in the same area that had bones in them, but they also had relics of occupation. And there were pots, there were stone tools, and so on. The, uh, the, the cave that Russell went into didn't appear to have any relics of human occupation. So to me, that distinguishes the two, and it makes the case for something unusual occurring in that cave, that many uh, remains to be there. Now, I, from what I can read, that cave has never been found again that contained those bones. So does that take away or lend to the credibility? I guess you know that's really up to you. There were, there were quite a few other cameras that had bones. The, the, the PSL still exists and that it makes periodic appearances. There are some excellent videos here on YouTube about uh, the history of this uh, cryptozoological creature and I would recommend taking a look at some of those and I'll, I'll try to put some of those in the description also. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video.
love all of you very much on the other side of that monitor. And God bless you and keep you. And if he's willing, I'll see you again soon.